In this illustration, we intend uh, to simulate the hysteresis analysis of the steel plate shear wall with slits in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, this model is composed of plate and two stiffeners and seven slits have been created on the plate. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the top of the shear wall and following that its hysteresis diagram will be drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. Also, in this picture, the deformation of the shear wall undergoing the cyclic loading can be observed. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Experimental Study on the, on the Hysteretic Behavior of Steel Plate Shear Wall with Unequal Length Slits. In this picture, the model having been simulated in the Abacus software can be observed. In this one, the hysteresis diagram having been drawn can be seen. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend uh, to create geometric shape of the plate. I will select the modeling space as 3D, select deformable shell and planner, enter approximate size equal to 2000 and continue. I will draw a rectangle as you observe in this table, the length of the plate is equal to uh, 1010 uh, millimeters. Its width is equal to uh, 550 millimeters and its thickness is 8 millimeters. In the next step, I will enter step module. Click on create step. Here, select linear perturbation, then buckle and continue. As explained in the article, uh, we should consider the first mode of buckle for calculating imperfection. So I'll enter number of uh, eigenvalues equal to one Click on seed part, enter approximate global size equal to 10 millimeters and OK. Then I will click on mesh part and yes. Then I will click on assign mesh control, select the whole of the model, done. Here select medial axis and OK and click on mesh part again.
In the next step, we intend uh, to draw the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to draw such a diagram. To do so, I will click on XY data, select ODB history output and continue. Here I will select all reaction forces. Click on save as, then sum them all up. and OK. In the next step, I will click on Create XY Data, select Operate on XY Data, and Continue. I will select Displacement, multiply that by 100, then divide that by the height of the shear wall, that is equal to 1010 millimeters. In the next step, I will select combine. First, select drift, then total force, and finally click on save as. Here you observe the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is drift. The second column is force, the unit of which is Newton. Here the diagram having been drawn with blue color is the one having been obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated correctly and properly in the Abacus software.